Islamic State in Afghanistan got their anger out on Sikhs in the only Sikh Gurdwara, the, the temple, in Afghanistan. And why? Because of Nupur Sharma's blasphemy. But Sikhs have got not nothing to Sikh. do with Nupur Sharma. Exactly. Who would tell these idiots? So Islamic State says attack on Sikh temple is revenge for Prophet's insult. I mean, who are these people? Do yeah. they even know the difference between... No, they clearly don't, right? It, 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 they're, they're a different kind of polytheist or something. Let's just get them. They're not Howard scholars, are they? Well, actually, uh, I shouldn't use that example. That's <laughs> Daniel very Kikachu true. Been, you should know. Daniel <laughs> Kikachu has been, at, been to Harvard as well. Um, so an Islamic State aff affiliate has claimed responsibility for an attack on a Sikh temple in Afghanistan, capital that killed at least two people and injured seven. Horace, can I just say, well, this is probably sure. the one and only temple still in existence, right, in Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, even, yeah, yeah. even this, they couldn't leave alone. They had, uh, I think they had, a, no, not significant, they had a few thousand Sikhs living in Afghanistan when ta Taliban came to power last year. Um, India gave them citizenship or refuge in emergency. Yeah, probably um, overnight, yeah. Yeah, um, so kudos to India for doing that. Yeah. Um, but again, it, such misery, you know, everywhere you look at, wherever there is Islam in strength or even in moderate strength, people are miserable. Yeah, and there's violence at, and bloodshed everywhere. So, so you look at Turkey, probably the least violent and mo most civilized in the Muslim world, and they don't have anything to do with Sharia. They have an Islamist at the helm, mm. but... It's, uh, it's still not as bad as Iran or Afghanistan and then Pakistan. Um, it's just terrible. So anyway, so Nupur Sharma, in the news again, a spokesperson for the party had made derogatory remarks against the prophet of peace, Muhammad, during a panel discussion on a news channel and comments were allowed, allegedly followed by anti-Islam comments by another party leader on Twitter. So seven gunmen had tried to storm the temple in the early hours of Saturday morning and all were killed after a standoff that lasted several hours, according to Kabul police. So, so um, there was a gunfire with gunfight with with uh, IS Islamic State and Taliban and the Taliban, and obviously you know they shot them dead. So isn't that amazing when Taliban <laughs> are fighting for the polytheists? That's something, isn't it? So so that's why I always say Islamic State is the worst of the worst. Taliban is a tiny bit better than them, but not that good. Um, so armed with a rifle, pistol, and hand grenades, he proceeded to shoot the worshippers inside the temple, ISIS, ISIS K said. A temple office said 30 people were inside the temple at the time. Poor guys. Um, Honestly, yeah, anyway. just going about their business on a Saturday morning. So here's the um, statement from... The Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, this is the official name, IEA, <laughs> strongly condemns the targeting of the Hindu shrine in Kabul by the enemies of the Afghan people. The IEA expresses its condolences to the families of the victims and assures that serious measures will be taken to identify and punish the perpetrators of this crime. Well, you shot him dead. <laughs> anyway, um, there, there, there you go. Okay, this is a bit of a subtext. So Afghanistan wants home to tens of thousands of Sikhs and Hindus has seen numerous attacks on religious minority groups since the Taliban took control of the country in 2021. So following the withdrawal of U.S. forces last year, ISIS claimed another attack against the Sikh community that killed more than two dozen people in another temple in Kabul. Saturday attacks come, a Saturday attack comes amid, amid growing outrage in the Muslim world towards India for the comments by the BJP members in New Delhi struggling to contain a diplomatic fallout from from the Muslim majority nations like the UAE, Malaysia, Oman, and Iraq, and Pakistan, of course, but they don't even deserve a mention because it's a, it's a banana republic. Um, the UN assistance mission in Afghanistan condemned the most recent, recent attacks, calling on Twitter for the protection of all minorities in Afghanistan, including Sikhs, Hazaras, and Sufis. The European Union ambassador to Afghanistan also condemned the attack, saying religious and ethnic pluralism needs to be protected with full force. All oh, right, and who are you asking? The yeah. Taliban. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who are you asking? Oh, so the God. India's foreign ministry said it was deeply concerned at the reports emanating from Kabul about an attack on a sacred gurdwara in the city. So it's sad. It's just absolute, absolutely sad. What can you do with these people? 
Um, yeah, and can you imagine those Sikhs who have just gone to to do their normal worship and they have absolutely nothing, nothing to do with this controversy? I mean, the fact that the fact that this one woman statement in India, obviously, like despite the post that she held at the time, she was high profile. But one statement, which is yeah. actually factually correct about Ooh. Islam, has sent shockwaves across yeah. these Muslim countries. If you like these videos and want to support me in my activism, then you can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Stay free, everyone.